Well, I'm so glad that, um, that God is doing incredible things in our lives. I, I hope that you have your expectancy up. That no matter what, what happens, even over the rest of the course of this year, God's got you. God's got you. God's got it. He has no surprises to him. God's got you. God's got you. He does. Stand to your feet, everybody. Invite somebody to church Sunday. It's a special word that God has put in my spirit to be released on Sunday. I'm so grateful for his hand on my life and for giving me an ear to be able to hear his voice. It is my greatest asset, and I'm grateful to him that he would trust me as a mouthpiece to speak into the lives, the hearts of his people. He's got great things in store for us, and he's preparing us for things that lie ahead. He really is. I'm excited about it. And I want you to know that your lives, whether you can feel it or not, you are in a prophetic place of divine shifting. Don't ever apologize for being in transition. You have to transition to come into something better. May I just remind you that greater, <laughs> yes, greater, 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 greater belongs to you. It, it does. Listen, you thought you were doing a little something, but I'm telling you, you're getting ready to shift into another dimension now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, 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 you're on your way. You're on your way. He's preparing you for bigger, for greater. He's preparing you for more. I'm just telling you. You don't have a whole lot of time so God is shifting you. This is a time of a different shift. you got to operate on a different level with a different level of thinking, a different level of preparedness, a different level of readiness in your life. And I'm just telling you, he's getting you ready for some things on a whole different level. And if you just allow yourself to work with the Holy Spirit, I'm telling you, everything that he has destined for you is coming your way, haters and all. They can't, they'll see it. He'll prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. He's not going to do it in the boot, in the back, in the corner, in the dark. God's going to bless you and use you in such a way that people that, that hate on you still have to witness it and they'll recognize this is God's hands on this person. Nothing will be able to stop your life from being able to prosper and bud. That's a part of the thing that's in the Ark of the Covenant, in that veil, in the Holy of Holies. There were three supernatural things on that Ark. I know you thought the teaching was over, but you're about to be blessed in your benediction. <laughs> well, the Lord is, is not in this hour sitting on the judgment seat. What was on top of the ark was a mercy seat. It was a mercy seat. Somebody shout, Lord, have mercy. My, there is power just in the mercy of God. There's a mercy. Out of his mercy, there are certain things that come to you. And inside of the ark were three supernatural things. There was Aaron's rod that budded. Supernatural budding where God produces through you. Not of you, but through you. It's supernatural budding. Ideas and stuff will bud out of your life. You won't even understand where this thing came from. When you're connected to God supernaturally, your life, because you are connected, it will bud through you. you you'll be a birth canal for the divine things of God. Then there was a pot of manna there, supernatural provision. It reminded them of how God supernaturally provided for them during times of scarcity when they couldn't plant and reap, when they couldn't go to work and bring a paycheck home, how God supernaturally sustained them. And he said, listen, if I sustain you through that time, whatever you may face in your life, that I want you to remember that I'm your provider. I am your provider. And the third thing that was there that was supernatural was the Ten Commandments that were written with the finger of God and it was supernatural inscription. It was written with God's finger when God himself inscribed on stone. God, the finger of God, 
There are certain things that God will write in your memory, that he will write in your heart, that he will write down into your spirit, that he will write into your DNA code. He will write in the passions that are in your heart. When you get, I'm just telling you, there are some things that, 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 are, that you have to go beyond the veil to get all of these things. Where there is a supernatural inscription and a supernatural provision and there's a supernatural budding where your life has gone to a total different dimension. Because in that room of the Holy of Holies, there are no candles there. God himself is the light of that place. And I just want you to know that you're in a place of divine shifting, that he's... He's inviting us now into places of intimacy to say, come behind the veil. Your heart has got to be right. Your hands have got to purify your hearts. Cleanse your hands. We come, and I'm just telling you, something happens. Your life shifts to a different dimension. Shifts to a different dimension. What you used to add, when you go to a different dimension, you multiply. I'm just telling you. And unless you're prepared for the shift, it's not a blessing to you when it comes. But your life is in transition. It's an uncomfortable place. It's an uncomfortable period. It's an uncomfortable time. I don't know who I'm talking to. But I, 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 just, I just really believe that God's people are laboring in travail because you're pregnant because God's trying to get something out of you. He's trying to get something through you. He's been talking, he's been speaking, he's been birthing something. And, and, and some of you have received a satanic opposition. There's been warfare in the heavenlies. And that's why you got to press in. I'm just telling you, you got to press. Because the devil starts trying to attack you to slow you down. But even though there was war in the heavenlies, it could not conquer this thing. And the Lord had to sometime, he had to send Michael there to, to do warfare on behalf of the prophet that was praying. And he said, I heard you on the first day. And I was sending the answer, but it was held up in the heavenlies. And I'm just here to tell you that when you, as we worship him, that God has angels fighting on your behalf right now. They're fighting on your behalf, fighting on you. When you do what you can do, God will do what you cannot do. I'm just here to remind you that he is God. And that when you do what you can do, God will do what you cannot. And he's got angels that are influencing people for divine favor that will make you likable, that will invite you to tables and platforms and deals that you couldn't work on your own. You're under the divine favor of God in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Uncommon favor, uncommon favor, uncommon favor for uncommon results. Uncommon favor for uncommon results in the name, in the name, in the name, in the name of Jesus. Not only for us, for our households. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Father, may your blessing and your hand rest upon this people. That everything that you set out to do in them, that you will do. May you undo, outdo, and overdo everything the devil has done. Thank you, God, for our ministering angels that are guarding over our lives, having charge over us. Thank you, God, that we are able to dwell in the secret place and that no evil shall conquer us. We decree that and declare it in the name of Jesus over this people, Lord. Your divine protection covers them. May the blood, God, the blood that sanctifies, that cleanses, that protects, God, rest over every life as we leave this place, God, and may you guide us through the shift till we come into that place, God, of those things that you've prepared for us because we love you and we'll call according to your name and we'll covenant that we'll give you the praise and the glory and the honor for it in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen.